Hi everybody and welcome to our very first recipe from our very first sea country Cabo Verde. Today we're gonna to be making arroz con atum, which is tuna rice from Cabo Verde. So this tuna rice is made with tomatoes, onions, and tuna. Sometimes some of the recipes say to use canned tuna, but in this recipe I'm using tuna steaks. So I'm really excited, it's gonna be really delicious, so I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. So to begin this arroz con atum, or tuna with rice, we're going to turn on our pan to a medium heat. And I have one third cup of olive oil. I'm gonna put my one third cup of olive oil in a pretty large pan and allow it to heat up just for a second. I have a teaspoon of garlic that I'm gonna allow to heat up in the olive oil. I have four Roma tomatoes that are chopped and then I also have one onion that I've chopped as well. And I'm gonna put these in here with my garlic and my olive oil and mix them up and let them cook down for maybe like five or six minutes just until they start to release their juices a little bit and cook down. Release their juices, Ew. All right, so once your tomatoes and your onions start cooking down a little bit, I have six bay leaves, and I'm gonna add those into this pot. Eventually, obviously, we'll have to take them out, but for now, we're gonna put them in there for flavor. And then I have two beef bouillon cubes, which I'm going to unwrap and put in there as well. And then I'm just gonna mix it around for a second and allow the beef bouillon cubes to kind of melt down and disintegrate. All right, so now that our beef bouillon cubes have cooked down, I have one and a half cups of long grain white rice and then three cups of water. So I'm gonna mix these up just to mix the rice and the water in there and then I'm gonna put a lid on. I'm gonna bring it to a low simmer and then once it starts to bubble a little bit, I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes. Now the tuna still needs to get added in here, but tuna has to cook very specifically. If you overcook tuna, it'll start to turn chalky and it doesn't taste very good. And it takes about 10 minutes to poach tuna. So the cooking time for this is only about 15 minutes, but we're gonna let the rice cook by itself for five, and then we're gonna add the tuna in for the last 10 so that they can both cook the perfect amount. Okay, so our rice came to a low simmer and I've let it cook for five minutes. So now I'm gonna take, ooh, look at that steam. I'm gonna take the lid off and add in our chopped tuna and I'm gonna mix it in and then I'm gonna put the lid on and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Now when your rice is cooking, you don't want to take the lid off and keep stirring it. You just wanna put the lid on and let it rest for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna keep it low and I'll set the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. So after about 10 minutes, our tuna steaks were cooked perfectly and our rice was done. So I seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. And now we get to try our arroz con atum or tuna rice. But before I do that, I just wanna thank the YouTube channel Surviving Ordinary Life with Liza and Justin because that's where I got the idea to make this arroz con atum. Um, Liza is from Cabo Verde and so in a video that I will link to below in the description, she actually was teaching Justin how to enjoy some of the food from Cabo Verde, so she made him some of this rice, and so I decided to do the same. So thank you, Surviving Ordinary Life, and now I'm going to try my tuna rice. Mm. I'll let you guys in on a secret. I don't normally like tuna, but I love the tuna steaks in this rice. The beef bouillon cubes mixed with it and the tomatoes and the onions to make a really delicious dish that comes together in about 20 or 25 minutes on your stove. So it's a really awesome, easy weeknight meal. And I thank you guys for watching this video so that you can learn how to make it. Don't forget to look at the other videos that are on my channel for other meals from around the world.